this is Wayne Viner for Red Turtle Productions. I have a true living Maryland legend with me, the legendary guard, Mo Howard. You played on probably the, the greatest Maryland team there was. It might upset the guys who won the national championship, but I've seen the videos. My, my father's talked about it. Uh, older relatives have talked about how good you were and how good that team was. But you said you did something nobody else has done here. Just beat Georgetown how many times? Four times. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year. Yeah. Um, first time we played him, we beat him by 30. Yeah. Second time, 27. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure the uh, the second, uh, the third or fourth game, mm. but we did beat Georgetown four times. Yeah. So yeah. what'd you make it tonight? Um, I really didn't understand the uh, the disconnect from not playing each other for 20 something years. Yeah. Uh, it seemed to it seemed to have been a national. A uh, natural rivalry right. uh, with Georgetown being in D.C. and we and we being here, yeah. and always uh, have national a national profile. Mm -hmm. So for them not to play each other is kind of weird to me. Yeah, it's 40 yeah. years since the game was here. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I guess to you it was just yesterday, right? <laughs> yeah. well, it's been some time. Yeah. And a few gray hairs ago. Yeah. So was Georgetown regarded as a really good program before John Thompson got there? No, not really. But once Coach Thompson. Uh, became the coach at Georgetown. Prior to that, he was the head coach at St. Anthony's High School in Washington, D.C. And what he did was he bought all the boys that played for him uh, for, at St. Anthony's to Georgetown. Mm. So it was it definitely was a building, uh, mm. a, a, in building mode. Mm. But, you know, coach was such a great play, a uh, great, great coach and uh, a great personality in the D.C. area mm. that he was able to get a lot of, a lot better players over the years. Yep. Yeah. Because, you know, like I said, the first game we beat them by 30. Mm. I think the fourth game we, we beat them by 15 or 16. Okay. So there's a name that's on the edge, uh, maybe John Durant or something, a guard, and then it became Sleepy Floyd was the yes. next guy. Yes. Uh, and all of a sudden, yeah, it, they just blew up. They blew once, up. Once Coach started recruiting nationally, yep. they started to get really good really fast. So you were with Maryland from 71 to 74? 72 to 76. Oh, man. There's my, <laughs> I couldn't remember. <laughs> So yeah. th those were some of the, the absolutely the, the greatest teams other than the national championship that we've ever had. Well, you know, what I'd like to take credit for more than anything was um, it was the upswing of Maryland basketball mm -hmm. in terms of uh, a winning tradition and having a national profile mm -hmm. uh, for uh, three of the four years that I was here at Maryland. Mm -hmm. We were ranked in the top ten one year. We were, we, we were ranked number four in the nation right. and we did not participate in the NCAA tournament. Right. So, um, and then I guess the break came in 79. There was some altered uh, words were said at the old DC Armory and we haven't played in about 40, it has been 40 years yeah, since they played yeah. here. And it's really crazy because, you know, uh, the prominent basketball programs in the DMV in Maryland and Georgetown. Right. And for them to not have an annual game is a travesty. It is. It should not have taken this long for this to happen again. Right. Well, I can understand Georgetown's point. Probably if we went to Verizon Center, there'd be 16,000 Maryland fans and 4,000 Georgetown people. Well, that's what we said. I mean, yeah. Georgetown, you know, they might draw eight or 9,000 for a Big East game. Right. So certainly, um, it just stands to reason um, they should play the game for the competition, for the bragging rights, right. as opposed to revenue. Right. <laughs> so you were saying that uh, you have a couple of your boys are involved yes, in basketball. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, my youngest son, Kai, mm. is a senior at uh, NJIT right. in Newark, New Jersey. They were, last year, they were the only Division One team in the country that was not in a conference. Yeah. And now they're in a conference. But, they're in the Atlantic Sun Conference. But they had a huge win last yes, year. Yes, they did. Yes, yeah. they did. They Well, they actually had a few. Yeah. They beat Michigan at, at Michigan, which right. is the one that was most noted. Right. But they also beat Yale. Mm. They beat Duquesne. They beat yeah. several teams mm. from major conferences last year. Right. And, um, you know, and they went deep into the CIT tournament. They, they went mm. to the semifinal. Mm. And then you have somebody involved in coaching. Yes, yes. And my oldest son, Ashley, mm. is uh, an assistant coach on uh, Jay Wright's staff at Villanova. Nice. Yes. They're, they're pretty good, aren't they? Yeah, they are pretty good. I enjoy yeah. watching them play. <laughs> but uh, 
Maryland, this really, for me, it lived up to the billing. You hear about how great yeah. this can be, and uh, for a night in November, yeah, this, this, was, this was really good. Th this was a high, highly competitive game. Um, the atmosphere was electric. Uh, uh, having the guys come back from the different eras, uh, it was a well, it was a banner night for Maryland basketball. Tell me the guys that you saw they haven't seen in a while. Oh well, I mean nobody's seen Joe Smith unless you watched him on television. Yeah. But Steve Francis was here, Lynn Elmore was here, mm -hmm. uh, Mar Marty um, Michael Martisich was here, Taj was here. Um, just the guys uh, who sort of kind of circle yeah. the wagons around Coach Turgeon mm -hmm. and give him our support. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, thank you for being on. I know you right. said it's past your bedtime. <laughs> well, what time is it here? It's probably about midnight in the Italy. east. But we're still happy. It's still going here at Xfinity Center. <laughs> but, Mo Howard, thank you for being on thank Turp you. Talk. Thank you for having me, my man. We have